hello everyone welcome back to my another video series on a black rock hope you enjoyed my previous videos so in this video we'll go and, go and learn about a nmap basic command so nmap is a quite useful uh, application for scanning and finding vulnerabilities in a particular application or a particular host so let's just go and run our map of with our first argument uh, so if you type nmap without any command so it will give you lots and lots of information so you can just go through and have a look on all this command and try it your own so today i'll show you some uh, basic command on scanning <coughs> so we'll be using a scanning technique so let's just go before doing any scanning let's just go and run wireshark so uh, we can capture the packet and have a look and we can uh, see what's going on our uh, what's the end map is actually going and doing so let's just start on my ts5 okay currently no option here so and map let's first run our argument and map with sin scan is yes, small s and big s a uh, particular target let's stand on local area so it's finished in 5.32 second you can see and map up already gone and finished the scanning and you can see scanning result over here port 22 is closed and you can see 992 port is filtered and you can see the open port is 8443 and all this so actually what uh, it does is the scene scan is actually it's it do a scanning on a silently it's not active scanning it's a passive scanning actually so uh, it does not make uh, any uh, full connection to the uh, particular target so it just make a uh, it's also known as a half connection uh, we just make a, a half connection to a particular target so let's just go and see now what's up what uh, what's up I've actually go and found uh, so let's just give a filter mm. TCP mm. Uh, TCP port on 80 so if you give a wireshark filter over here you can see uh, it have made a open connection so if you see here you can see a port 80 is open HTTP so if you go over here you can see uh, when you give a wireshark filter you can see that it have made a first is going the client is my the client is 19 and go over and scanning on a uh, 10.5.0.1 if you see over here we are scanning this target so if you see it go the client go and uh, do a scanning and see uh, is sender client go and sender sin uh, mm, sin to the synchronizing to the uh, particular target so and again if you see you can receive here synchronize and acknowledgement uh, back and again the client is going you can see from here the server uh, for the uh, remote target or the target is sending a synchronize and uh, acknowledgement and send an act back to the uh, client so it means that a particular host is a uh, particular the port is open so again the client is sen sending back again the client is sending back a reset packet to a target so uh, you can see it's not making a full connection it's just uh, after the server after the particular server or target uh, return back the uh, synchronous with acknowledgement back to the uh, client uh, it's the client automatically go and uh, send a reset packet to the 
target in, in this way there is a no it's not making a full any full connection so so in this way we can know that it's a uh, half half connection or half tcp connection which does not make a full connection which is uh, very useful for us because uh, the firewall or any IDS system will not uh, not be able to uh, keep our log because it does not log in fully to the particular host or target so uh, the next second command let's just go and run second command second command would be um, uh, st so this is uh this command is uh tcp oh sorry i make a snake here so this uh st me the st is a tcp full connect uh a tcp connect this one is also known as tcp connect uh, scan in the end map so it makes a full connection to the uh, particular uh, particular target so you can almost see the same uh, same result over here so it's go um, uh, go to the server and make a it's a full TCP full connection which uh, actually make a three-way handshake over the uh, particular target all right so you can see over here is closed 23 is closed then port 80 is open port 443 is open and 1723 uh, pptp which is uh, uh, also known uh, known for the known for the uh, pptp vpn uh, connection the port is open over there and this uh, 8080 HTTP proxy is also open and this two port unknown port is also closed and you can see it can also scan for a mac address of a particular device and you can see it's a cisco system so uh, this is how you can make a uh, full tcp full connect uh, to a particular target on the background if you go and see in the wireshark you can see over here so from here if you again see uh, this so you can see first the client send a uh, sync to the uh, target and target is our 10.5.0.1 and uh, target send back uh, the server send back a uh, uh, HTTP uh, sync and act back to the client which is client is 10.5.0.1 and again the client is sending uh, uh, HTTP acknowledgement back to the uh, back to the particular target is 10.5.0.1 so you can oversee if you go down and see here is a you can see a lot of it's a flag is acknowledgement SCK you can see this is an act to the segment in the frame 2030 so you can go over here and look uh, uh, apply some filter to the wire sack and uh, you can see actually what what's in going on so if you go over here and see so if you go over 443 uh, port 443 you can see as a same HTTP base port again the client is sending here the sequence I can sing then again the uh, server is reporting back with the scene and acknowledgement and again the client is again sending the acknowledgement back to the server this is a full three-way handshake over here so it means a full connection to the server so let's just go and run out the our another nmap command which is quite useful so nmap um, would be UDP scan such so list to a UDP scan so it will you you can see over here it is just scanning for a TCP port 
this command is only just uh, the sync and the uh, uh, nmap sync connect and uh, nmap the tcp connect is just scanning for a tcp port if you want to scan for a udp port that is open uh, you can just go and run a uh, nmap dash s dot u on a particular target so it will uh, give you all the uh, udp port that is open in a particular target so you can see over here uh, it takes quite long time for scanning a uh, udp port c is 31.72 second you can see the port 53 which is domain name and snmp 161 and one is open and the closed route 520 uh, 1900 UDP is closed then. and 0 conf is 5350 is also open so you can see over here you can uh, use this command for uh, uh, scanning uh, for the open port for a uh, UDP if you go over here Let's just go and see our, our what is can open port is uh, 53. So you see, you can see uh, uh, a lot of UDP or DNS protocol, ICMP on reachable. So you can just go apply the filter and you can just uh, go and study what the wiresack is actually uh, going and doing in the background so in this way you will uh, have a more mm, more accurate knowledge on what actually the uh, nmap is doing so another useful command for us would be a ping command to actually test whether the particular target is up or not so think okay so let's just clear and map dash scan with ping command ping the command so. oh i make a then mistake so here you can see it's actually going in just pinging for a particular host you can see a ping So it's already it's saying the ping or the host is already up. So if you go to Wireshark and see, I see the ping command usually use ICMP packet for uh, doing a ping test. You can see over here uh, the client is sending to the Google. Uh, which is 74.125.135.101 ICMP packet echo ping request and uh, you can see the server replies back with the echo ping reply so it means the server is already alive so you can go and have a look on all this and actually you can go and study on your own so another command we will be running on our uh, nmap would be uh, dash uh, o or just give a a on a particular target let's just go and run on our local host So this A command will actually go and uh, go and have a scanning for all all the available command like uh, trace route or uh, open port and the the OS. It will go and scan for all the and all the um, scanning do and scanning all this and give you the result. So it will take uh, quite quite long time. So. If you want to see TCP, oh, cancel. Okay, 
Okay. So you see, you can see it's uh, taking quite a long time because it's actually uh, going and doing a, uh, a lot and lot of scanning on a particular target. So maybe on my next video, uh, I'll be showing uh, uh, basic, maybe a basic on uh, how to use a WhatsApp and how to apply filtering and uh, uh, filtering and doing all kind of uh, tracing back in a WhatsApp. So uh, you will get more idea on what actually the tools are going uh, on and what's actually going on the network. So maybe on next video, uh, I'll show you. Uh, for basic of a WhatsApp on how to use and apply a filter so you can get more accurate result in your um, case so you can see it's the background is sending back and you can see over here it's actually haven't finished it's taking quite a long time so I just pause my video maybe the video will become more quite long so here actually uh, after finish a uh, uh, scan you can see here nmap is doing all the scanning that is available doing a port scanning over here uh, port scanning uh, then it's uh, giving a lot and more information on particular hold is http on cisco firewall uh, config so here is ssl certificate and you are getting you are getting actually more information on a particular target so uh, the open pptp uh, Linux firewall, uh, Cisco RV202W proxy, and you can see the MAC address and the is doing a uh, the device type is generally purpose for phone w, uh, WAP broadband router. So you can see the uh, running uh, running uh, the guest uh, the o OS on a uh, particular. Our device is guessing and the aggressive guess would be Linux 2.26.11 and you can also see a trace route over here the destination or one hope you can see only one hope because the local network so this is how you can go and uh, do uh, some basic scanning on uh, using our end map so I think that's all for this video. Uh, it's quite become already quite long. So maybe hope on our next video, uh, we'll go and learn some basic on a uh, our WhatsApp. So for our further studies, it will be more easier to do. Uh, uh, user and map and go and have a look on actually WhatsApp what's going on in the background. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you for watching.